Have you been looking for a way to securely test your applications in a clean Windows environment? Well, I got you covered because there's a feature built into Windows called Windows Sandbox that gives you a temporary, secure, pristine version of Windows that pops up in seconds. So tune in. Hey everyone, I'm James Montemagno and I'm back today talking about a real cool developer productivity tool when you need to test things. Uh, I have for a long time always ran into the problems, which is I figure out how to complete some software and then I need to test it and I need to test it in a clean environment. And what I mean by that is an environment that my users are going to install it on, which means that there's nothing else. They've never installed it before. There's no other things installed on the machine. You can usually do this on a you know iOS, Android device pretty easily. You can wipe your device, or you can just uninstall the app, and it's pretty much sandbox already. But what if you're testing web services or Windows applications uh, or download links and installer packages? Uh, well, that is where Windows Sandbox comes in, which is an awesome tool built into Windows, Windows 10 and 11. Um, you don't need to install any Hyper-V stuff, anything like that. It's basically built into pro and enterprise editions, and it gives you instant boot up of a Windows sandbox, pristine environment that is secure and disposable as soon as you close it down. It's amazing. Let's check it out. So there's some great documentation over on the Microsoft Docs page for Windows sandbox. Here's the cool part about it. It's part of Windows. It gives you a new sandbox with every run. It's cleaned up, which means it's disposable. It's secure. Uh, because it uses hardware-based virtualization for kernel isolation. So you really get a pristine package there and it's efficient. It's super fast. So let me go ahead and like check this out. I'm just going to first go ahead and show you what you need to do to turn it on, which is turn it on in the Windows features on off mode. So what you want to do is go down here and you want to look for Windows Sandbox. That's where it is right there. So you want to toggle that on right away. The nice part about that is that if it's off, you can turn it on and you're good to go. If you don't see it, make sure you have pro or enterprise versions of Windows and you'll be good to go. Once that's on, I'm going to hit Windows and then Sandbox. And it's going to go ahead and pop up a Windows Sandbox window. I can't move it, so it's just going to be stuck over here on the side of my screen. And we're going to pin it right here. Now, I just ran it, which means it's basically launched and totally good to go right over here. So here is my Windows Sandbox. It literally was open immediately. I can open uh, Edge over here. I can type in my website uh, to see how it's going, uh, which was recently upgraded to a new version of Ghost. And sure enough, it works awesome over here. You can, I'm um, snapping it here, but you can resize it as well. So if you need to test different dimensions, you can do that. Um, yeah, it's good to go. Now, let's say, though, you want to test out some stuff and then have it clean up. We'll check this out. I'm going to literally hit the X button on the sandbox. And look at this. You are. Are you sure you want to close Windows Sandbox? Once it's closed, all of the content will be completely removed 100%. So you can say yes or no, do all the things. Now, this isn't like a version of my local Windows. Like, look here. When I look at my local Windows, I have all the stuff installed, right? But this is a minimal, this is just Windows, nothing else. You have a browser, some Windows stuff. You have PowerShell, Command Prompt. You can, of course, then install .NET and make sure that's running and test all your applications. Let's test this out, though, because what I want to check is an application. So I'm going to minimize the sandbox. And what I want to show you is that I have an app that I think is great for testing. This is an app that I use on stream. And basically, it goes and it grabs COVID-19 statistics that you can do an overlay on. So nothing kind of crazy, but it does do some stuff, which is cool. Now, this is a .NET 5 application. It's self-contained. It's all bundled up. And I have a little release here. And when you download it, it just gives you an XE. Now, I've tested on my machine, but of course, I have all my developer certs. I have all my .NET installs, all that stuff. Uh, and if I wanted to go set up a new machine... I'd have to go uninstall the versions of .NET, reform my machine, do all this stuff. No, no, no. Windows Sandbox has me covered. So we want to be able to run this and then, of course, actually run the application. So here's what's cool. I'm going to copy this. Copy. 
come open up my Windows Sandbox and paste it. I'm gonna paste it from my actual Windows machine into the Sandbox over here, um, which is pretty cool. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, it just runs. Uh, this account is already an administrator account, things like that. And sure enough, you can see this user utility account is the user, so it's not me, it's some temporary thing. And I can hit get, it's gonna go off to the internet, get the data. We can go and actually see if uh, this thing, you know, downloaded stuff, I guess it would be in my, let's see, let's navigate into it. So my, sure enough, I have PC, C, users, this utility, um, slash app data, slash local, there we go, COVID-19 stats, and sure enough, it totally works just fine. Now watch this. I'm gonna close it down, get out of here. Let's remove some windows here. Do Windows Sandbox again, Sandbox. It's gonna boot up uh, my logo over here. And now we're gonna get the Sandbox back. Boots up in seconds, I just love that. And look, it's gone. It's completely gone 100%. In fact, if I go back into the C drive, users, the WDAG utility account, app data slash local, it's gone. No COVID-19 stats or anything like that. It's built into Windows. You don't have to install anything else. It's just there. It's ready to go. And it's an instant sandbox of Windows that you can easily spin up and tear down in seconds. Now, I found this uh, little utility. Scott Hanselman told me all about it. He was demoing, trying some installers, a bunch of stuff. I just thought it was so neat that people need to know about it. Like Because I've been running Windows forever. And I never knew that this thing existed in Windows 10 and in Windows 11. Now, when you're on Windows 11, you also get Windows 11, which is really cool too. So here I'm on Windows 10. Um, now, if you find this at all useful, definitely let me know down below. I think that this is so cool because now you have the option to either spin up a virtual machine and you can snapshot different things, or if you just need to test something really, really quick, you can boot up a sandbox and everything is super optimized. I love it. I'm just in love with this feature. I hope that you found this helpful and beneficial. If you did, give it a like over there. Give it a subscription to the channel and put out new videos every single week right here. That super duper helps out the algorithm. Really appreciate it. And of course, as always, leave comments below. I'll be looking at all of those and responding when I can. I'll also put links down there to the Windows Sandbox documentation. But that's gonna do it for this video. So until next time, thanks for watching.